Good evening and welcome to Wednesday Night Live with Pastor Jeff. That's me. I'm Pastor Jeff Maggard of Sulphur Christian Church. And I'm in here in my mobile studio, as you can see. And uh, whenever you come to LaGrange uh, to eat dinner, there's always the possibility that you might get trapped. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. And that's what's happening with me right now, which is fine. We're doing just fine, just fine, sitting here watching the train go by. So, anyway, a um, couple of announcements. want you to know that um, August 11th, on our church site, at our picnic pavilion, on August 11th at 7 p.m., that's a Wednesday night, uh, the same night we have uh, Wednesday night with Pastor Jeff, we're having special guest Sherry Lynn Garland and her band Green Till Green Apples. Oh, I gotta get that in my head. But anyway, a uh, great musical group, great singers, beautiful harmonies. Oh my gosh, you got to come check them out. So bring your lawn chair, your sling chair, your blanket. Bring your kids. A totally family friendly environment. Come out, park grab a spot in the grass. We'll have Sherry Lynn and the band on the picnic pavilion uh, doing great gospel and inspirational music for us, praise and worship music, songs that you hear on Christian radio, all great things. So I'd love to have a good crowd for them. Make sure you plan to come out with that. Start at 7 o'clock. Uh, it'll, it'll be done in time for... Uh, kids to go home and go to bed for church and all that good stuff so uh, make sure you plan and come out we would love to see you there so uh, on August 11th okay also a little announcement too is we're going to resume Sunday school classes for kids on August 8th that's Sunday August 8th at 10 a.m. we're already having adult Sunday school, so make sure you start coming to adult Sunday school uh, now each Sunday at 10 o'clock, and children's Sunday school resuming on August 8th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Please bring your kids for them to get the foundations of the faith uh, at our church, and then of course each and every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock live worship right there in our sanctuary. We'd love to have you come and join us and be with us at Sulphur Christian Church. So um, if you can't make it for whatever reason, maybe you live far away, uh, maybe you physically can't make it for one reason or another, maybe you work, you can always catch us on Facebook live or anytime during the week. And also on my YouTube page, Pastor Jeff Maggard. So uh, those are our announcements for now. More coming uh, in the next couple of weeks. We're going to start and have a food drive for Henry County Help Center. And there'll be more information on that coming up. And uh, lots of exciting things coming up in the future. So stay tuned for that. A uh, couple of uh, prayer requests I want to mention right now is uh, please keep uh, Tina Cotton, a uh, former co-worker of mine at uh, Oldham County High School. In the last month, she's lost her son and she's also lost her husband this past weekend. And uh, she is just devastated. She is a woman of faith. Uh, and her faith is being tested. So please keep Tina Cotton in your prayers. Uh, we have lots and lots of prayer requests uh, right now. We have lots of people having uh, medical issues and illnesses and struggles and challenges and all those kind of things. So please keep uh, those folks in your prayer. What I would like for our prayer focus to be this week is for Christians who have yet to really deeply engage in the fact with their the the fact that the Holy Spirit occupies them as a part of them. So please keep 
uh, Christians, believers in your prayers. We all need to engage with the Holy Spirit, not just on Sunday mornings, but every minute of every day. Allow, allow the Holy Spirit to be in your life and actively, intimately part of every day. And uh, I see here, keep uh, Miss Vicky in your prayers. She fell today and she is hurting. So please uh, keep Miss Vicky in your prayers. And uh, I want a, a huge praise to Tony for cutting down a couple of the holly trees at church. Uh, really, really uh, needed to be done. They had outgrown their space and was actually in jeopardy of causing damage to the church building. So, Brother Tony went over there and took care of those holly trees. And uh, so, I really, really uh, appreciate that, Tony. Thank you very much for helping us out with that. So, continue to keep uh, folks in your prayers. Uh, your neighbors, your co-workers, your friends, your family, and the lost more than anything. Uh, we, we can all still go to heaven with a hurt knee, okay? If our soul is safe, uh, the injuries to the body are no fun, but we need to make sure that our souls, our spirits are healed more important than anything. So let's go to the Lord in prayer if you'll join me. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we love you so much, and you're so, so good. Father God, you're so good that you save us from a fate worse than death. You save us from hell. You save us from eternal damnation. And Father God, we're just so thankful for that. Lord Jesus, we pray, pray, pray for the lost in our world. We pray that you'll uh, save each and every one of them. Help us to be lighthouses in this dark world that will shine your light wherever we go. Father God, be with Tina and be with other folks who have had just devastating losses uh, recently. Be with our friend Cliff as he undergoes a procedure tomorrow on his heart to uh, uh, replace a valve. He's a dear friend. And Lord Jesus, we just pray for strength and help for him. Father God, Lord Jesus, we love you. Uh, we lift everyone up to you who's on our prayer list. Father God, we especially lift up those believers who haven't quite yet engaged with your Holy Spirit within them. Uh, Father God, that we would listen, that we would be quiet and listen for your voice. Uh, Father God, we would engage your Holy Spirit that's in us. And Lord Jesus, do what you need us to do and be who you need us to be, Father God. Lord, we praise you and thank you. In your holy name we pray. Amen. So, wanted to continue a little bit about our talk about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and what that means to us. So, Maybe you are a believer. Maybe you have answered that call from Jesus. Maybe you haven't. But what I wanted to talk about tonight is your call from Jesus can take place anywhere, anytime. It can take place during a worship service, during singing and praise time during the preaching or during an evangelism event, a crusade or a revival or or something like that, or even like uh, at a concert, a Christian concert. Uh, it can even call, Jesus can even call you while you're reading your Bible. So maybe Jesus reaches out to you in different places, in different ways. It's not the same for everybody. Jesus picks and chooses how he communicates with each and every one of us. Maybe he reaches out to you at work or on a walk or in a dream or in any situation for that matter. But when you answer that call and you begin believing in God, you receive a little faith. A little faith to help you know that God and Jesus are one. You also begin a journey, a journey of knowing that He, that God, that Jesus is a part of you. 
and you with him. It's very, very important for us to understand that and begin to understand that. And it takes time. When you first say, I accept you, Jesus, as my rescuer, as my hero, as my savior, when you accept him, your faith is activated. And that's very exciting. So he activates your faith. Your faith actually begins when you are saved and he gives you the gift. The gift of the Holy Spirit that actually places part of himself in you. And that's incredible. You, you can't get that anywhere else. It just doesn't happen. So God begins to put his concepts in your mind and he starts writing his word on your heart. And you see his concepts and his word makes us come alive and works together with our faith. So as we... It comes alive and it begins to work together with our faith and our faith grows and our spiritual strength grows. And you know, our belief begins to allow us to hear what the Holy Spirit of God says to us. He says, I will put my law, his concepts, in their minds and write it on their hearts. You see, faith is a vital part of our growing spiritually. Our spiritual growth is directly connected with our faith. It's the catalyst for us to become a disciple. You've heard that word, right? Disciple. It's more than just a follower of Jesus. It's someone who dedicates themselves to learning everything they can about Jesus, about God, about his ways, and about his word. And it's all connected. It's all a beautiful connection. So faith is that vital part of our spiritual growth. It's the catalyst for us becoming a disciple of Christ. Learn to hear God speak to you. And it does take time. And it's not the easiest thing to learn especially with all the noise and the things going on in the world, to take time to stop and learn to listen to God. But we can. We can stop and hear what God has to say to us through any and all situations, through anything, and through anyone. Now I want you to think about this. Maybe you've not thought of things this way. But God can speak to you through a believer or a non-believer. If you don't think that God can speak to you through a non-believer, you're shortchanging God because he's God. He can speak to you by and through any means. He does this to help you trust him. Did you catch that? Why does he do that? Why does he speak to us through so many avenues? So that we'll see him in everything. We'll experience him in everything. And we'll begin to trust him. And trust goes hand in hand with faith. This, this helps you trust him. It helps build your spiritual muscles. We all like being strong physically. We like being physically strong, but we need to be spiritually strong. And our faith and trusting Him is how we build those spiritual muscles. So to grow your faith and to help you develop that deep ability to hear God speak to you, you can do that so that you can identify His voice apart from any other. Now, you may have heard the scripture, my sheep know my voice. Well, that's because the sheep are completely dependent upon their shepherd to lead them. 
And that's where we need to get. We need to get to where we're spiritually, physically, and emotionally dependent upon our shepherd, Jesus Christ. So if we develop our spiritual muscles, if we allow our faith to grow, if we engage ourselves with the Holy Spirit, His Holy Spirit, then we'll be able to discern His voice from any other. We need to develop our faith so that we can obey God's every word, no matter how it's delivered. That we can discern it and understand it no matter what avenue He chooses to give it to us. Sometimes it's even through nature. Sometimes it's just through existing. And we just understand and begin to grasp the concept that He is in everything. And that He can speak to us through everything and anyone. Romans 10, 17 says this, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Jesus Christ listen to that again Romans 10:17 says consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Jesus Christ so if we're hearing the message what Jesus has to say to us and we're studying his word and we're communicating with him through prayer and other people that's how we begin to build our spiritual muscles face it we're not that strong in our faith when we're first believers and sometimes it takes us a lifetime to build up those spiritual muscles till we're really, really strong, to where we can fend off those temptations, where we can stand strong when our faith is shaken. But it can happen. And the more we engage with His Holy Spirit that abides in us, the stronger our faith will become, the stronger we'll become the more dependent we are on Him. I know that's contrary to what we believe, right? But it's the truth. It's kind of God's upside-down, backwards way of doing things. But that's why His ways are not our ways, right? You know that. I know that. Sometimes living in this world makes it more and more difficult to understand that. But time builds faith when we engage with the Holy Spirit we build our faith we hear his word read his word study his word and live it out that's when you start to see those results that you crave with Jesus so I encourage you believers <clears throat> seek him and you'll find him knock and his door will be open to you so go find the Holy Spirit inside you okay God bless you let's pray real quick before we close dear Heavenly Father Lord Jesus help us all to engage in your Holy Spirit that you've put into us as believers and to move forward in our journey and our walk with you help us build our spiritual muscles and make us strong in our faith in your precious name we pray amen have a great night love you guys and i'll see you real soon